Hello and welcome to Family Mute. I'm your host, Steve Harvey. <laughs> Family Mute is a quiz show where we survey 100 regular old Americans and ask our contestants to guess the most popular answer. Disclaimer, we are in no way affiliated with the American Broadcasting Corporation. Okay? All right, let's meet our first contestant. And who might you be? I'm Granny from Tucson, Arizona. All right, and how old are you, Granny? Well, I'm 81 years young, Steve. <laughs> All right, Granny, tell us the fun fact about yourself. Well, I can take my teeth out if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyone who'd like to take me out, my number is as follows. Hi, Tucson, everybody. Let's see who this nervous Nelly is. Um, um, I'm Rocky. No shit. Fuck no. Um, Randy. No wait. Oh, it says Roscoe right here on your name, please. No, um, yeah, yeah, that's correct. And what do you do for a living, Roscoe? Surgeon. Oh, really? No, no, I'm a baker. No, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> okay. And contestant number three, what is your name? My name's Mickey. All right, Mike, where are you from? It's Mickey, and I'm from Sarasota. All right, I love San Francisco. It is. <laughs> oh, hip. Oh, I'm actually from Sarasota. Let's get a move on already. What are you doing here? Oh, well, my family's been on hard times. So and let's get started <laughs> with Zamily Zoo. We asked 100 people their most popular answers, and you are going to guess them. Buzz in whenever you are ready. First question. Name something a woman carries in her purse. <laughs> Condams! Survey says four. That's enough. Car keys. Survey says 35, and Michelle makes a strong start. It's Mickey, I have a name tag. <laughs> yeah, next question. Name a four-legged animal. This is Bumblebee. No, wait, shit, fuck, uh, Carpenter Bee. Ooh, both wrong. <laughs> No question, no answer from either of you? Well, uh, the top answer was dog. <laughs> Feels like somebody should have gotten that one. Next question, name a yellow fruit. <laughs> Orange! What? <laughs> survey says one. I was in that survey. <laughs> Next question, in what month does a woman start to look pregnant? This is September, no shit, uh, no, November, no, Labor Day, Labor Day. Survey Nice one, Millie. Survey says 14. Next question. What do kids want to be when they grow up? Kesha. Survey says 71. Uh, uh, bears. Survey says 23. I can't be right. More specifically, grizzly bears. What happened to astronauts? They read by the bears, son. Huh? All right, let's move on to our lightning round. Buzz in whenever you're ready, and the winner will be announced at the end. Name something only young children wear. <laughs> Clothes. Who picked these contestants? <laughs> Next question. Name something you see in the sky. Uh, uh, Earth. No, air. Wait, you can't see air. Shit, shit. Uh, lava earthworms. Uh, that makes no sense. Uh, all right. Next question. Name something you put in your coffee. <laughs> Moonshine. <laughs> you called your husband. Denise! My buzzer isn't even working. <laughs> Next question. Name something found in the bedroom that has to do with sex. Red pepper hummus. <laughs> I can't eat pita anymore. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Tune in again next week for Rarely Rude. Again, not on ABC. But I didn't even get to answer any questions. That's because you didn't press the buzzer, Mickey! Thanks for calling me Mickey this time. Okay, wait, so did I win? Tune in again next week, folks. <laughs>
But if there's construction on the bridge, we'll have to look for a next exit. Oh, we're getting off, and then we're going to have to try to catch that light. Ah, the complex route. <laughs> or, we could, or we could take the highway. That's going to be a distance of six miles at a rate of 17 furlongs per fortnight. Ooh, good thing I brought my calculator today, like every day. <laughs> Subway? Subway. So we're going to take a red line, green line, and then the green line outbound. A, B, and C are taking the blue line outbound, and B's wife has just gone into labor. What? <laughs> With contractions happening every two minutes, the train stops every seven minutes, and there are 12 stops between Center City and the hospital. My wife is not pregnant. <laughs> B's wife will continue to produce babies. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Being doors closing. Does she say everyone? 